Root taking on the short wide ball. I don't think that the captaincy is going to change his style of play at all. He's a impish player, optimistic player, likes to put back to ball. A yeah, very good shot, no risk at all. Oh, they close on that front line. Up and over. Top edge, trouble for Root. Oh, he's got away with it. Real trouble there for Joe Root. It was a good, quick bouncer from Rabada. Fine leg was in. And that has only gone for four. So a let off, you'd suggest. I think Vernon Philland has gone off the field. There could be Aidan Markram there at fine leg. He was in slightly and it bounces short of the boundary rope. So that's a break for Joe Root. That'll be a boundary again. Joe Root's four boundaries and moves on to 26 and just 36 deliveries. Go that button and off stump. Well, he's been very good on anything straight this morning, Joe Root. He's been a little bit iffy outside off stump. Whenever South Africa appeared onto his pads, he's punished them. And that's where Ramoni Markle does not want to bowling. Doesn't want to be ending up on mid stump. Definitely not. Matter of fact, if I was the captain, I would take one of those men out of the onside. Morris is in, nobody out on the fence, so... Ball will dribble away up the hill, give Joe Root another boundary. He's to 45 now. There you go. Wait, just the single, enjoy the moment. New England captain. Goes on to 50. And on the floor from the balcony. 28 50 and 54 tests converted to 1100. That's in the gap. And it's four. That's placement supreme. It was a decent bouncer from Kakisha Border at 88 miles per hour. It was directed somewhere near the helmet of Joe Root. Rocked around, rolled the wrists. It was all about the placement. Two men back on the boundary. He split them. It's rather nicely played, and it's timed absolutely beautifully. Minimum of effort for almost the maximum reward. Just eased up the slope before. Lovely way to finish the over. 139 for four. Just caressed and that's a lovely shot that you can see the way that he maneuvers his hands knowing exactly where the fielders are or better still where they're not it's good footwork he used his feet beautifully there he knew exactly what he was trying to do and in the same way as he eased it through the offside in the previous over by opening his hands to go that way he's turned his wrist this time on it got there to make it a full toss turned his wrist to make it going exactly that the gap at McWicket. Oh, another boundary. This is where the captain just really wants to pull his hat off and put over his face and start screaming into it. It's very deliberately played by Root with no third man in place, just a, a delicate late cut. Certainly got a little bit of bat on this. With the boundary, 190 for four. That's a good, wonderful shot from the draw route. We want to 194 for five. The other thing with Moin Alley, do you, you want to have two quicks? Do you want to bring, say, Morkel back? to have a, a burst with a couple of quicks against Moyne Alley. 
It was a great shot from Joe Root. He really did wait to as late as possible. He knew he wanted to open up the offside. Squeezed. No third man. Arabado will be disappointed, but it's well played by Root in the end. Soft hands, doesn't push too hard at it, just allows the ball to come to him and in no danger whatsoever of being caught. We saw him dropped in the gully region earlier on in the piece. Got that one just soft, just opens the face slightly. No third man in place, boundary time. Oh, we'll have four more. Move along briskly now, Joe Root, he's headed on to 96. Once again, a beautifully played shot. This is what you would see from Joe Root often in a one-day international. Ball just outside the off stump, runs it down to third man. That time he'd be picking up a single. Today, it's a boundary. Well, a special time, a terrific time. England's captain, he's what dreams are made of. Get the skates on and get back. But a wonderful innings. Show exactly what it means to him and to his team. Fabulous time. Joe Root, 100. Yeah, he's a superb player, is Joe Root. What a wonderful way to start your year as captain. 100 in your first innings at the home of cricket. Superbly played. Wonderful occasion, Lord's Test match. Certainly is dreams when you walk down the pavilion steps and you get onto the turf. A hundred. He's done it. Goes straight down the ground and goes over the top, goes long. My word, what was in that drink? I don't know, but let's get some. A couple of pints. Down, just hits it through the line of the ball on the up. Very nicely played. Just paddle around the corner. Chase is on. Oh, unlucky. Oh, I think no, it's unlucky. When you're lying on the rope and you flick it back, that makes it easy. Four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it worked so hard to get there done virtually everything right got a hand on it now there's the first contact and he then unfortunately is the, the trailing hand <laughs> and tracks it back <laughs> poor man clipped leg side for four we're having an evening with joe root at the moment it's in it's in notting hill somewhere isn't it an evening with will you leave me a ticket on the gate sold out completely sold out very early <laughs> Within minutes it went. I think they thought about having it at Wembley. Dell took that place. Lovely shot. He's been getting across his stumps and working to leg. Just backing himself not to miss it. Yeah, real fluency post 100. You wouldn't say he was quite at his fluent best this morning but showed a lot of resolve because England were in a sticky situation. But after the point at which he got through to that 100, he's just played really fluently. And again, just shuffle across and a bottom hand. Mo really just picking it up on the full and taking it to the leg side. He's almost taken extra cover out of the equation. Not if Joe Root's going to play like that. Beautifully swept away. Now yeah, it's been a after that first session, it's been a fantastic fight back from England, especially from their captain Joe Root on the 147. And that boundary brought up the 100 partnership of just 107 deliveries. Yes! Got him. Beats the outside edge. Quinton de Kock took his time to get the ball back onto the stumps. 
but eventually the innings of the New England captain comes to an end. Oh, what a shame for Joe Rudy. Deserved a 150. He's played beautifully so far today as captain. They're just going to check the front foot. First the ball right now. There's a good piece of bowling. Change of ends, a better end for the left arm spinner. It's way too late. Should have bowled a lot earlier from this end. Deceived Joe Root and Clyde. Let's have a look now. Is this over? Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? That could be a no ball. Oh, wow. We. Joe Root gets a reprieve. The South Africans have had a look at the big screen and they're heading back to their fielding positions. What a disappointment for them and happy days for England. Next ball is going to get his 150 now. Look at this from being out for 149. Stumped. He's now 150. Well played, Joe Root. Yeah, brilliant way to start the era as England captain. Joe Root acknowledges the dressing room and so he can smile. Takes in some well de deserved applause. Been a fantastic effort. He had a bit of luck at the start of his innings. He had a little bit of luck on 149. But the moral of the story, he sits unbeaten on 150. Beautifully put away. It's just a drag down, a bit of a loosener from Rabada. And when you're on 160, it's an easy put away. Ah, gift for Joe Root, sitting on 160. And to put them away all day long. First up with a new ball. Oh, it's a tired delivery, that from Rabada. Excellent young bowler, Rabada. That's a tired loosener. Airborne. But safely away for another boundary. Two boundaries from the over. 327 for five. Oh, there he goes again. Ravada throws his arms in the air in despair. He dismisses this. Don't think it bounced as high as he thought it would be. Standing on my he plays that shot so well, Joe Root. Stands sideways on and stands tall. That's his shot. That's what Joe Root uh, is brought up on that back foot punch down the hill for four. Yes, if you said what's uh, Root's signature stroke, you'd probably choose this one above all. On his toes. Just a punch through the offside. Occasionally gets him into trouble when there's a bit more bounce. But in England, where there isn't that much bounce off a, a length or just back of a length, a very productive shot for him. That's a good nut. That's a good nut. Is it good enough to find the edge? Yes, absolutely. A little tickle. And the England captain has fallen on day two. Just going to check the front foot with Mornay Morkel. They've already got two wickets with a no ball. Joe Root just going to hang five for a little while. Well, I reckon you've got to bowl a pretty good delivery to get rid of the England captain in the form that he's in. He played superbly yesterday. And he'll feel that he was got out this morning by Morkel. Perfect delivery in that channel, just outside the off stump, with a bit more bounce, unlike the previous over from Philander. That is a good delivery to get Root to end a truly excellent innings from the New England captain. 190, 10 short of what would have been his second double hundred here. And wonderful applause.